How's it going? Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2010 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Direct Connect Base Plate Kit with removable arms. Now the base plate is going to be one of five main components needed to flat tow your Jeep down the road. The other four are going to include wiring, a tow bar, safety cables, and a braking system. Our base plate is going to provide us with a solid connection point for our tow bar to attach to. So the tow bar is going to come from our base plate and that's going to connect to our motor home. Our safety cables are gonna go from our motor home to our base plate. And these are gonna be there as a secondary device or a backup if a catastrophic disconnect does happen. This will still keep our Jeep connected to our motor home. And the wiring, that's going to transfer all of the motorhome's lighting signals from the back of the motorhome to the back of our Jeep. And the best part about this, in my opinion, is the fact that it's going to be really easy to get everything connected and disconnected. And that's in part because it has these removable arms. So whenever you're ready to connect, you'd simply take your arms, slide them into the base plate, and rotate them until the pin locks in. And that's how both sides are going to work. And these are nice because everything will go a whole lot smoother and you ain't got to waste a whole lot of time trying to get everything set up and let you spend more of that free time with your family and friends. And whenever you're not flat towing and just cruising around, you can simply just pop these out by pulling the pins and rotating them. And that's going to maintain more of that factory look because this kind of just blends in. And it's going to have a nice, black powder coat finish. That way you're not gonna have to worry about getting beat up or rusted out, especially if you plan on doing a little bit of off-roading. And I really like how there's already brackets included or pre-attached, if you will, to the base plate. So that's gonna make hooking up your wiring and a braking system a whole lot easier. So overall, it's gonna give you that solid and reliable connection point for flat towing, while not really altering the look of the front of your Jeep. Now, as far as the installation goes, some parts can be a little bit tricky, but it's really not too terribly difficult. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin your installation, you'd first start by removing your rock guard, which is a panel that sits right here in this area. Now, our customers is missing, but if you have yours, you would want to remove that by taking off a handful of pushpin style fasteners. Now we need to locate a hole in the side of our frame rail which will be an attachment point for our base plate. Now it's gonna be right above your sway bar on each side, it'll be set up the same way. And that's the hole that we're looking for. Now some Jeeps will have it drilled all the way through to the other side of the frame rail. Some won't. In our particular case, ours is not drilled all the way through. So what we're gonna to have to do is grab a drill bit and drill this hole. That way it'll be all the way through our frame rail. Now, since we don't have a ton of space in here to work, what I like to do is just get a smaller bit and get as close as I can to the center of the hole here and just make a pilot hole. That way we have a point of reference and we can drill it to the appropriate size from the outside of the frame rail where there's more room. Now with our pilot hole made, we can step up to a larger bit to open it to the correct size. So now with our hole drilled out, what we're going to do from the inside of our frame rail going towards the outside is take our long bolt and a flat washer pop that flat washer over and then put it through the hole that we just drilled. Now here's the other end of our bolt that we push through our frame rail. And what we're gonna do now is take our tube spacer and slide that over the bolt, followed by our side plate. Now these side plates are side specific, so make sure you see the diagram and the instructions to make sure that you have the appropriate one. From there, what we're gonna do is take some red Loctite and put that onto the threads. Now I wanna mention any hardware that we're going to be using to secure our base plate 
is going to get a little bit of this red Loctite. We can grab a flat washer, followed by a split lock washer, and a hex nut. And we're just going to get this started hand tight for now. Now the other side was set up the exact same way, so I went ahead and drilled out our hole and used all of our same hardware and our side plate and got everything loosely installed. So now we're gonna grab our base plate and line up these two holes with these two holes right here. And so this will kind of slide on. And what we're gonna do is take one of our bolts with a split lock washer and a flat washer and kind of grab our side plate put it through that hole through our base plate and through our attachment point so i have that sitting in there like that i'll repeat that on the other side and then we can move on now what we can do is take one of our handle nuts and the way these are going to work is they're going to go through this small opening here so you're going to kind of run that through there and line it up with the bolt and thread it on hand tight. Now, in my experience, sometimes these handle nuts, some of this paint can kind of get in the threads and make it difficult to get everything going. And since it is a little tricky to kind of hold everything together, what I like to do is just grab one of the bolts that we haven't used yet and just run it through there and make sure it goes in nice and smooth and clean out any potential paint that may be in there. And once we've done that, we'll add our Loctite and get everything lined up. So now that I have it started, we're just gonna keep turning our bolt until we get it hand tight. Now for the bolt hole that sits below, the one we just did, I'm gonna use that same hardware combination and that from the outside, slide it through. Again, put some Loctite on our handle nut and we'll run that down until it's hand tight. And then the other side is set up the exact same way. So we'll just repeat that process over there. Now we can use a three quarter inch socket to tighten down all of our hardware that we just installed. Now for our attachment point down here, depending on your Jeep, you may have a hole that's here already. You may not. In our case, we do not. So what I'm going to do is just drill a hole to the size indicated in our instructions. Here's what we're gonna do. Our inch and a half bolts are gonna go up through this hole. And this is actually open on the top. And so we're gonna take this nut plate, drop that down into here, line up the hole, the nut plate, with our hole that we drilled and our bolt and thread them together. Now again, just like our handle nuts, these can sometimes get a little gunked up. So I like to take our bolt and run it through to help clean out any of that debris. So I'll go ahead and drop this in. And line it up. And before we put our bolt up, we're gonna put on a split lock washer, followed by a flat washer, and again, some Loctite. And then we can just get that threaded into the nut plate. Now the other side, set up the same way so we'll drill that out and use the same hardware combination to secure it. Now with our bottom bolts in you can go ahead and snug them down. Now with all of our hardware tight you can go ahead and use a torque wrench to tighten it all down to the amount specified in our instructions.
Now with everything torqued down, we can come to our handle nuts and we can just use a pair of snips to trim off that extra for a little bit cleaner look. Now at this point, if you removed your rock guard underneath, you would simply trim it out to the diagram and the instructions and reinstall it. But again though, in our case, since ours was missing, that's something we're not gonna have to worry about. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster Direct Connect Base Plate Kit with removable arms on our 2010 Jeep Wrangler.